Hello. In today's module, we will be discussing about definition, concept and importance of management, which is a very important topic. So let's first start by defining management. What exactly is management? Now, a very famous uh, personality, which is Mary P Parker Follett, has given a very popular definition of management, which is given as management is the art of getting things done through people. Now, is this the right definition of management? It is not really a universally accepted definition because it fails to highlight different factors like what are the functions of a manager. It also ignores the scientific aspect of management, which is given by Taylor. It also ignores the human aspect of management and it just treats people as if they are just merely means of getting things done, which not actually happens. And also, it does not define the role of internal and external environment, which we all know that affects the organization. So it's very important to understand what is the real definition of management. So the real definition or the more effective definition of management is that management is the process of planning, organizing, directing and controlling activities of and using resources of an organization for accomplishing the organizational goals efficiently and effectively in an ever-changing environment. Now, this definition takes into account the different functions of management like planning, organizing, directing, controlling. We also have functions like reporting, coordinating. So all these are important functions which are taken into account in this definition. It also talks about organization utilizing its resources efficiently and effectively that is optimally utilize, optimally utilizing the resources and it also talks about the ever-changing environment in which the organization functions which is the internal environment and the external environment the internal environment is basically your customers your employees your suppliers competitors which basically directly affect your organization all your stakeholders and your external environment is your pestel, that is political, economic, sociocultural, technological, ecological and legal environment, which indirectly affects the organization. So it is important to understand that all these changes or all these environments affect your organization directly or indirectly. So this is the more effective definition of management. Now, another important concept of management is the five M's. So what are these five M's? Let's just understand and how are they important part of management? So the first thing is, the first M is the methods. Now it is very important when you are managing things that you know the right method of doing things. If you do not know the right methods of doing things, then you will not be able to manage things properly. You also require material which we have already talked about, that is optimal utilization of material, the best possible way in which the material or the resources needs to be managed. So this is the second M of management. The third M of management is the machinery or the tools with which the management needs to be performed. So machinery or the tools are required for proper working of the organization. Next M or the fourth M is money. Now, without the resources, financial resources or money, one organization cannot really function. And the fifth and the very important function, as you can understand by the picture now, is man. So without manpower, no organization can function. So this is the most important M in the five M's of management. Now, let's understand the different concepts and nature of management. The first very widely uh, discussed or debatable concept of management is whether management is an art or it is science. Well, ideally, management is a combination of both art and science. How science? Because science basically talks about principles, it talks about theories. So, a person, it, he or she needs to have knowledge of the management principles. They need to have that particular uh, knowledge of how to apply those theories and how what are the different theories and principles of management so that is a science aspect of management now what is the art aspect of management 
the skills of how to apply the knowledge or how the knowledge can be utilized is the art aspect of the management so a management is basically a combination of art which is the principles and theories knowledge of principles and theories and art that is how to apply that knowledge or how to apply those principles in the organization that is basically art the second concept or nature of management is that management is a multidisciplinary discipline which means that management itself is not a discipline but it has evolved or the theories have come from different disciplines or different other subjects and fields so its theories principles and concepts they are all founded upon other disciplines now what are these different disciplines these disciplines are economics sociology psychology mathematics information technology so all these have basically contributed to the science and art of management or to the different theories and principles and concepts of management so management is a multidisciplinary discipline this is the second concept of management the third concept or nature of management is that management is intangible intangible stands for something which cannot be seen which, which cannot be touched but it can always be felt so management can always be felt its existence or its inexistence you can feel it so if something is mismanaged if the organization is mismanaged you can definitely make out that the organization is mismanaged and it is not working properly so it can always be felt but you cannot see it or you cannot touch management so it is an intangible thing the fourth nature of management is that management is pervasive at all levels pervasive stands for something that is existent or which exist at all the levels so whether you talk about the top level you talk about the middle level or the supervisory level all at all levels managerial functions and activities they need to be performed everybody has to do all the management activities at some level or at some uh, amount now the fifth nature of management or the concept of management is that it is an environment oriented activities as we have already discussed that management or an organization's management cannot work in a closed system that is we cannot work as an individual system without interacting with our environment we have to be an open system every organization has to be an open system it has to interact with its environment the internal environment as well as the external environment and it is said that the external environment which is a pestle political ecological economical socio cultural technological and legal environment it affects the organization to a great extent and the organization doesn't really have an a direct control over these uh, factors but the internal environment it can be managed and the organization need to manage its internal environment because that can be directly influenced or that can be directly controlled by the organization so in the internal environment we include all the factors like our suppliers competitors consumers and all the stakeholders the sixth concept or nature of management is that management is optimally utilizing the resources now the word optimum stands for the best possible way of using the resources of utilizing the resources we cannot use the resources in the maximum best possible way or maximum way but we can definitely use it in the best possible way or the optimum or the optimal way so physical financial and all the informational resources of the organization they must be optimally utilized that is the proper management now let's understand what is the need or importance of management why do we need management in an organization first of all as we discussed earlier management is required for the effective utilization of resources or for optimal utilization of resources secondly along with optimally utilizing resources it is also important to develop new resources so that we are not uh, behind of all the resources or we do not lack the resources which are necessary for the organization now management is also the part in or in which we have to incorporate innovation so it is also important because we need to incorporate innovations management is also important for better coordination among various departments if we are we do not have proper management then the management different between different departments like your hr department the finance department the marketing departments the operations department so all these open or different departments they do not have the coordination then the fifth importance of management is that 
very important that it provides a sense of security and oneness to its employees. So if the organization is mismanaged, the employees will not feel secure or they will not feel happy working in the organization. So it is very important that the organization is managed. And finally, management is also important so that all the tasks are completed in the stipulated time frame or in the given time frame. It is very important to finish the task in the optimum, uh, in the possible time frame so that all the resources are properly used. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.